All right, earlier today, a few hours ago, I had a, I guess, I guess you would call it a debate with a someone who self-proclaims himself as a bit of a militant vegan. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I'm not sure it was much of a debate. It was mostly me listening to this person scream and yell and use profanity and so on and so forth uh, to try and, I guess, get the point off claiming that, you know, animals and humans are basically equivalent and therefore they should be afforded the same rights, privileges, and considerations that human beings are. And I simply said, I think animals and humans are different. And that was not an acceptable answer to this person. Uh, the, the, the sort of the debate ended up with the conclusion that because I understand that animals die to provide food and that I voluntarily continue to still eat that, that I should somehow be uh, locked up and imprisoned. And so that was the conclusion, at least by this person's uh, view and I, I wonder I just wonder what goes to their mind when they think is this the most persuasive argument just kind of yelling and screaming and swearing and demanding that people be locked up does that argument make their position more persuasive or less so and I think it makes them less so I mean I think anybody any sort of rational person would look at that person's argument and say um you know, obviously you're passionate, but you seem you come across as quite unhinged, and that was my uh, my my initial pre impression. Maybe if I watch it back, I would have another view. Uh, this video will be out uh, on on our other, you know, back to Sean Baker YouTube channel uh, in probably a week or so. I would imagine something like that. So it's interesting. Um, you know, the, the same sort of same sort of echoes that I saw from the last vegan debate I had done with one of these activists was that you know. Wild animals should not be allowed to kill other wild animals. This sort of, you know, I mean, this ridiculous uh, and ridiculous hypothetical scenarios. What if I was an alien with human looking alien with alien DNA? Would you eat me? And it's just, you know, completely nonsensical. But it is what it is. It's entertaining. I would say watch it for the entertainment value. I don't think you'll learn much from it, quite honestly. I tried to advance the conversation on, on, on a number of topics. However, uh, this person only wanted to sort of engage in this, you're making contradictions because you, uh, will, you agree that animals are different and yet, um, you know, how are differences in humans should not meet, leave them vulnerable to being eaten. You know, basically my position was, I don't think eating humans is, is correct. And I think that animal eating animals is indeed acceptable for, for a number of reasons. So, Anyway, <laughs> I thought I'd just give you my initial reaction. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, should I do any more vegan debates? Is it is it productive? Is it, you know, I, I sometimes do them just for the pure entertainment value because I, I honestly think this type of vegan activism is actually counterproductive for any uh, goals that they wish to achieve. And I think the, the screechy, screechy preachy vegan um, it doesn't sell very well. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, guys. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.